fires are burning out of control tonight in Utah County. It might not be a coincidence they started at almost the exact same time. Hello, I'm Karen Carlson. Ross Becker is off. One fire is burning in Hobble Creek Canyon, the other in Mapleton Canyon. ABC 4's Mark Zinni is live near Springville. Mark, you have the very latest now. What's up? Yeah, Karen, we're actually in between the two canyons right here, but the fires are burning on the other sides of the mountains, so you can't exactly see too much. But behind me right here, we do have some police officers from Springville, and what they're doing is just alerting people as they show up here at the scene. Just be careful as you make your way up Canyon Road. Right now, the Hobble Creek Canyon fire, about 200 acres. Mapleton growing from 50 to 100 acres, both 0% contained. Flames cutting a wide path late Monday up the side of Hobble Creek Canyon and nearby Mapleton Canyon. Both fires broke out around 4.15 and kept many people from going home on roads that were closed for emergency vehicles. You worry about it and you worry about somebody starting a fire that's malicious or mm -hmm. not intended. And Canyon Road closed at 29th East in Springville for several hours. Choppers airlifting water over the scene, including Mapleton Canyon, where hikers and campers were evacuated, but no homes threatened. We've got three helicopters, two on this fire and then one on the Mapleton fire, and then they've got some large aircraft with going to drop retardant on it. Dave Bennett from the Utah County Sheriff's Office says the Mapleton fire is smaller than Hobble Creek. But there are several homes closer to this fire, hence a full-on attack by firefighters. It's the end of the season, and things are obviously very dry. Fortunately, the weather is cooperating at this point. Residents temporarily displaced, but patient with firefighters and crews focused on containing the fires. It's pretty bad, doesn't it? It's so quick. The downside of living in the canyon, which officials say holds some of the priciest homes in the county. We're sure hopeful and grateful for the quick action of the officers here. Again, the Forest Service just telling ABC4 moments ago that anyone who lives near both of these fires, it is okay for them to stay in their homes tonight. But if they feel at risk at any point, they should err on the side of caution and leave. Tonight they're saying the wind is actually helping the situation. It's a bit breezy down here, but they say it's blowing the fire in the opposite direction. An important note for tomorrow, crews will be meeting near the fire station, and they will be discussing how they'll go about fighting both of these fires tomorrow. But all campgrounds in the area are closed. Everyone is being encouraged courage to go elsewhere. We'll have the latest beginning at 5 a.m. on Good Morning Utah. We're live here tonight. Mark Zinni, ABC4 News. All right, Mark, thanks very much.